I'm back at the field where I had good success the other day with this fella, the Vista RG1000 from Deep Tech. Um, so I'm going to use it again today and I'm going to do this side of the field. I've already done this with the E-Track and I'm going to see just if there's anything I've missed with this. If I don't pick up anything, I'll then move on to the rest of the field. There's some parts that I haven't done. So I'm going to start by switching it on. I like the sensitivity quite high because uh, I know there's not much trash in this field. Pretty quiet. Must be a good channel. Volume all the way up because I'm not using earphones. Balance the ground there. Sensitivity quite high. Discrimination very low. And the discrimination is very low because I only want it to reject big lumps of iron. Quite a lot of the coins that are in here read quite low on the scale on my e track. So I'm kind of replicating that on this machine. Obviously this hasn't got a, a you know, fancy screen, but um, I'm hoping that kind of sets it how it is on the E-Track. Now I do know this area of the field, next to the fence here, has got a lot of trash, but I have picked a few silver coins out of here with the E-Track. I would say that's worth a dig. It's a 2-2 two -two shell. Balls. Well, I've had a good few digs in the area that I'd already done with the E-Track. Didn't manage to find any coins though, just rubbish. Um, so I've come down to the area where I had good success last time. Got a very clear signal here. And I'd be pretty shocked if that wasn't something worth digging. What does it say on there? Nickel plated, not silver unfortunately. Another solid two-way signal. Definitely worthy of a dig. Marvellous. First bit of silver. Not very far into the dig. That one is a George V shilling from 1928. That'll probably clean up reasonably well. George the fifth penny. Looks like a copper hook of some sort. That's an old threepenny bit, approximately seven inches, so it was a reasonable depth. I 
and it's another threepenny bit. Only about four inches that time, but it gave a really strong signal. And it's a Victorian half penny. 1897, I think. That was a reasonable depth. This is nine inches, and it was right in the bottom of the hole, so, you know, that's over eight inches of ground, plus a little bit of air. It's a good depth for a little coin. Tin foil. It's a modern two pence. It's a little islet of a tent. Coming into a bit that I haven't done yet, so I'm expecting to find a few more coins along here. Hopefully starting with whatever this is. Actually a knackered old pocket watch. I gave a good signal. Thought it was a little sixpence there. Just a button. Get in. Excellent. Another bit of silver, another sixpence, in excellent condition. This probably is one of the best ones I've found. 1921. George V. It's quite a nice find. It's a um, military button. Seems to have shield in the middle, a lion on the left hand side and a unicorn on the right hand side. Still got the little fixing on the back there as well. That's not bad. Yet another threepenny bit. This is a result of about an hour and a half with the RG1000. A couple of buttons, one, two. This one's a nice military one. Uh, two nice bits of silver. That's a sixpence and a shilling. Threepenny bits, half penny and penny. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven coins, two of which were silver. Pretty good return. 